So guys, you won't believe it, but this bot has just built an entire application for me in Angular framework. So now we are going to test it, this chat GPT chatbot, whether it is actually that much capable of what people are talking about. Can it also write code for softwares and can it also replace the engineers? So let's find it out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Chart GPT chatbot. It is built by OpenAI and basically this is the chatbot which reply your questions in more efficient way with the help of artificial intelligence. In simple language, this Chart GPT is a chatbot where users can ask questions and the platform uses artificial intelligence to reply your questions and it is a great example of modern artificial intelligence and it looks like like the other jobs it is going to take over our software developers jobs as well yeah so let's find this out so now what i'm going to do is I'm going to ask this chatbot to build me a to-do list app in angular framework all right so we have just given our command a to-do list app in angular framework so wow so you can see that it has just started giving me all the documentation all right okay okay it is giving me all the steps that i need to follow oops something happened i guess so basically it is giving me just steps but i need the code right but that's fine now let's do little tweak or maybe <coughs> ask for better answers okay a to-do list app code in angular framework i think this one is the better command okay this is just a basic example all right oh wow this time it is giving me commands that's cool all right it has just created a component for me oh even the forms uh -uh. i found one issue here okay so we have checks box as well okay no oh my god it has also written the css for me but how it knows what design i need i think it's just a simple css code okay all right so it has written the component for me just a basic component okay with some initial data item one and item two there is a function to add new items in the list and also remove wow that's that's cool okay so better i just start following this all right so what it is saying i will just follow all these things all the code that it has given and let's see whether it works or not okay what it is saying first of all i need to create a new projects let me zoom in a little bit i think now it is fine i guess all right so I have already created a folder here. Now I'm going to just follow the steps that it has given. All right. <coughs> yes, I do need routing. I'm good with CSS. It is gonna take a little bit of time. So yeah, I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll continue once it is done. All right, so looks like the all the node modules are in, installed now. I just need to follow the next step. Change the directory to to do app. All right, CD change directory i'm in the main directory right now all right so we have all the code here now i'm just gonna do ng serve this is the next step and it should run my application on this particular port let's test this out oops so sorry i think i think i already already have a project running on the same port so i'm going to switch the port cool so it is running here in my case but this is right the default app will run on this particular port only all right cool then i we have our first page or first component here which is this one okay i'll remove everything from here and i will just put something uh app component cool so it's working till now everything is fine now i will take start i will start taking code from here okay so what it is saying it is saying to generate one component all right but where i need to create a component here right there is no directory information where do i need to create i can't create component here and within the to-do directory right i need to go somewhere within the app right so let's open this app folder okay so within this we'll just create our to-do list component cool all right so this is fine now we have all these three things i'm just gonna copy this piece of code here in my component which is to do list all right so looks pretty fine i guess all right now let's copy this css code into the css css file all right i'll just drop now the component 
I think the same name is there so I don't think there should be any problem or it was still writing so let's try one more time uh, this time we have ng model I don't know what is the problem I mean it always just gets stuck in between and just show try again it is probably because so many people are already trying I think one million user has just crossed on this chat bot which is a huge number and that many requests it was not able to handle all right okay so now you will, you will notice okay we have this default items here this time and this time we do have a better css i believe ah uh, not again something is really really wrong with this all right not a problem but this time we have a better code here so i'll just copy the html from here put it here <laughs> I'll just take the HTML code from here and replace this piece of code. Okay, for now I'll put any here. Same goes here. Now ng model, this needs to be declared. It is already there, I guess. So what is the error? Oh, a form module is missing, I believe. All right, so there is no form module either. Mm -hmm. Okay, just everything is here. All right, so I'll just need to add a form module. Then I think we are good. What is form module? <coughs> All right, so I think error is gone now. All right, so I'll just also take a little bit of CSS which is given by this. Mm -hmm. All right, this is not as CSS, so this is fine. All right, so now let's test our code. Ah, yeah, we need to add this to do. I remove this. Oh, okay, it is working now. All right, guys, so here it is. Oh, looks like it is working. Okay, it is. Oh, wow, this is nice. Okay, it is able to remove. Cool. Now let's add the new one. Test item. Hmm. Cool. Test item two. This is nice. Item three. Okay, it is able to add or remove for me. What is this toggle item? Okay, it is basically to mark it complete or incomplete. Cool, man. This is nice, right? I was able to build the complete application with the help of this chatbot only. I have. I haven't need to do much great right oh my god this is crazy yeah okay let's try something else tick tack okay let's do this thing now so basically it is gonna build a game for me now i'm really excited for it and this is going to do within one component only this is amazing great and here it is this ai is writing everything for me within one component here okay so let's me test this code all right also i think i need to build a new component here mm. tick tack tick tack toy all right so here we have another component i don't need all those files everything is good here uh, so i'm just gonna copy this piece of code because i'm not doing this in app component mm -hmm. i'll just paste everything here all right now i just need to copy this piece of code here up to this template here is it all right cool what it is saying mm -hmm. all right on in it i don't need it i can remove it completely from here and apart from this we have this okay i need to add typing here why this is winner is string is not assignable to type null why it is null okay so i will make it a string cool looks good i guess and let's test this out i'm gonna put it here now and we are gonna test it here <coughs> all right guys so this is the to-do list and this is the tic tac toy and both these applications are built by ai okay first turn second turn first turn second turn oh access win oh wow this is working let's do one more testing x x zero x zero x zero x so it is not showing okay nobody's a winner okay so what will happen if zero wins okay zero is winning okay the game is working fine only few cases that can be better which is not here but a basic game is here which is working perfectly fine yeah you will not believe it i mean it is completely written by ai so guys after using this tool i can say okay the future is really bright for this particular tool and it is very very advanced and uh, i have used so many chatbots previously which is which was also built on ai but but wasn't that much advanced because this particular tool gives us 
very optimized result. I mean, whatever you are asking for, exactly the same thing it is giving you. Yeah, if, of course, I mean, if they solve this try again problem, then this will be much better. But of course, I mean, this is not going to replace the software engineers very soon. Because yeah, this gives you code, but still you will need a person to fix it, right? It is not properly clean code. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is not even a better code, I, I can say. Because we should be using different, different files to make it optimized. And what if I have to write a very, very big application, right? You can't do it here. As you can see, I mean, this is crashing every time after writing a few files. And uh, yeah, it is not giving me very optimized code either. This code still can be a little better. And one more problem I see here is there is no designing, right? It cannot design, right? It is just giving you the application, the basic structure and functionality, but there is no design available. And how it is going to create a custom design for me, right? When you're going to build the application, you're going to have the custom design, a customer UX design, user experience. So yeah, that you will need to do it by yourself only. I don't think AI can do that. But yeah, there are still some application which can directly convert Figma to any any application like React framework, uh, Angular or any other framework. It can do that. But yeah, again, that that is still a beta version which I tested earlier. And it is also st still not very optimized. So yeah, congrats, man. <laughs> Our jobs are still safe. All right, guys. So yeah, I really appreciate that if, if you can mention your thoughts uh, in the comment section about this tool. And yeah, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I always keep uploading this type of content. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.